Uh, but there's a meteor shower that's heading towards peak on Saturday, but also the, the last of the four supermoons uh, in our sky right now. But again, cloud cover Absolutely. making a problem, guys. But if you got a minute, let's talk about this meteor shower. Pretty cool thing uh, that we should still be able to see. Give it a couple of days. But I want to talk more about why we have this meteor shower. The annual Perseid meteor shower actually complements of a comet. Have you heard of the Swift-Tuttle comet? Frequents our solar system, or at least the inner solar system, roughly every 133 years. So you're familiar with this, right? You've got Mercury, you've got Venus, and you've got Earth right there, and we're all going around the sun. You know who else is going around the sun? Again, the comet Swift Tuttle. And comets are just made up of, of ice and debris, and behind them, they leave a trail of that icy, dusty debris. And as it swings around the sun and leaves that trail, as the Earth passes through that trail of dusty debris, that's what produces our meteor shower. So those little dust particles burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, and that's what gives us those shooting stars or those meteors that go across the sky. So every year, as, as the Earth goes around that orbit, we run into that trail of dusty debris, and we get our annual Perseid meteor shower, at least with, with this meteor shower coming from the comet Swift Tuttle. So here's what you want to look for. You want to find the constellation Perseus. This is what we call the radiant point because it appears that all these meteors will be radiating from the constellation Perseus. Now that begins to rise in our sky in the northeastern sky a little after midnight. So tonight into early tomorrow morning, you may begin to see some of these shooting stars. It technically peaks on the 13th. There's a quick drop off in this activity after August 13th. Now you may be able to see 25 to 50 meteors if you're able to get away from some of that light pollution and you have a good view of the sky. However, this year, unfortunately, whereas this is normally one of the more active meteor showers, we've got a near full moon, full moon today, and then we'll have that waxing gibbous moon that'll wash out a lot of those more dim meteors, but we may see one of the, the brighter shooting stars here or there. In fact, my wife just a couple of days ago as she was driving home from work, she said, oh, I saw a shooting star. That was the beginning of the Perseid meteor shower.